Well guys, winter isn't even here yet and I'm already thinking about what some of the first things I want to throw come spring. And one of the first things I like to throw besides a jerk bait is going to be a lipless crankbait. So today I thought, let's come back, we'll go over. We're going to paint a lipless crankbait in a crawl pattern. All right, well, if we're going to be doing a lipless, that means we don't have any lip to hang on to. We'll be using the helping hands today. First thing up, we need a base coat, Createx Opaque White. Just give ourselves a good base coat all the way around. We want those colors to show up properly. And that's what the base coat is all about. There we go, got that done. All right, let me clean out the gun. We'll move on to some colors. For the belly, we're going to start out with the Walmart colors. And again, the Walmart Apple Barrel. Uh, 50 cents a bottle, but it's really thick. You're going to need to thin it. I said there's a lot of commercial thinners if you want. I basically have used water. Have not had any problems. This one is called Cool Blue. So that's what we're going to start with. Get a little water in here. And Thin this down. Again, just remember guys, as I mentioned quite often, through the Walmart paints, the paint pigments, the flakes are larger. Sometimes they can cause you problems and plug up in your gun. So that's the downside of using a craft style paint that's not really designed for this type of painting. All right, we just want the belly, so we're gonna Hold her, I'm going to take it like this. There we go. That's all I want. I don't want this one to come very far up the side. I just want that blue belly, which is what I've got right there. All right, let me clean the gun up. We'll move on. Our next color, we're going to go back with Createx colors, and I'm going to go with the pearlized. And this is the pearl copper. So we're going to do a pearl copper. I believe this is, there's a pattern somewhere here with this blue and copper. And I'm trying to think if it's like a table rock crawl or something like that. And this is probably not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar to it anyway. All right, there we go. I got my blue belly. We got the copper on. Now, we need to put on the crawl pattern. And we're going to do this a little bit differently than normal. So let me get the heat gun, dry this really good, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do to get the crawl pattern. All right, we want to make this a crawl pattern. Now, usually when we're doing something like this, most guys, you're going to have a stencil. There's all kinds of stencils. You can have one that's made specifically for the lure that clamps over it. You just paint it, and when you take it off, it shows up. I've made my own stencils. This one's marked right and left, where I can just set it on here. You paint basically on this. You let the drift go over. But I know, you know, not everybody's comfortable doing that. And it's, i got to admit, this one... You know, on a uh, lipless like this, they're fairly flat, so that isn't too bad. You get the rounded ones and you're curving this. And I know some people might feel you know, a little uncomfortable doing that. Again, I'm going to show you a different way, but let's remember, I just paint these to catch fish. I'm not trying to make something really fancy that I'm going to sell to somebody. All right? So here's what I'm doing. Createx Opaque Black. We're going to use that to make our... Marks on here, we're going to do it with the paintbrush, all right? So basically, eh, let me get all my stuff out of the way here. All I'm going to do, get a little bit on here, and I'm just going to come up top. Let's see if I make sure I get this where you can see it. And I'm just going to come down and make my deal. I'm going to go all the way to the top because I want to match it on the other side. And they come down. And 
make my deal. If you don't uh, shake as much as I do and you get old, you do that. It'll probably come out better, but... And one more small one back there just for the heck of it, huh? Now I'm going to come around, come across the top, make sure I can see those marks from this side real well. And we're just going to duplicate it and do it again. Now, is this real fancy paint job like some people have? No, it's not. Will it catch a fish? I bet it will. There we go. Boy, that one's a little bit... Let's just make that a little bit bigger there. There you go. Steady your hand you got, the better you're going to be. But you know what? I'll catch fish with it. We're going to put a set of eyes. We're going to put a top coat. Then we'll see where we stand. Hang on a minute. One more step. I think I have one other thing I want to do real quick. We're going to go with the old toothbrush. Going to take our black. We're going to put a few black flecks of paint on it. There we go. Turn that around. There we go. All right. Just a little something extra. Take a little black paint, use the old toothbrush, and put a few marks on it. All right, now we'll put a set of eyes and a top coat. Well, there we go. Now, this is not some kind of a lure that somebody's going to want to buy from you. As you can tell, painting the markings on with the brush is not nearly the same as using the air gun. But if you're just starting out, if you're not quite sure of yourself to be trying to paint a crawl pattern and work around those stencils, don't let that stop you. Get a brush, paint them on, and take it out fishing. Because I'll guarantee you, the fish isn't going to care. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you again real soon.